Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include The Sturgeon says Scotland loves Europe more than England Six EU nations take action over Google and its privacy policy Luxembourg, be afraid, the eye of Barroso is upon you EU says 2020 renewable energy targets are unachievable Plus, EU pours millions into groups seeking state control of the press. I'm Rick Timmis and this is The Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Well, there is no love lost between England and Scotland, and I'm not sure that Mel Gibson's box office smash Braveheart was ever going to be a catalyst for harmony. However, to see Mr Salmond and his ministers galloping arms astride across the poppy fields of Europe, hailing that an independent Scotland should be absorbed into the EU superstate, just doesn't compute with me. This article looks into Nicola Sturgeon's romance with Brussels, who says... This divergence of views between Scotland and elsewhere in the UK is not a recent or short-term phenomenon. Well, if that's the way that you feel about it, you can keep your haggis. Google's new privacy policy is under legal attack from regulators in its largest European markets, who want the company to overhaul practices they say let it create a data goldmine at the expense of unwitting users. Now, I don't want to be the Zuckerberg who points the finger or to start waving the rule book in your Facebook, but when it comes to searching the world for evil, one might want to ask a few questions about the connections between the CIA and Facebook's venture capital investment backers. In this article, we look at the six EU nations who have decided to take Google to task over its data privacy policy. Final words? Well, do a Google search for diaspora social media. But don't get me started on that one or I'll go all Richard Stallman on you. If you thought it was risky for banks in Cyprus to have assets about eight times the national gross domestic product, then what is one to make of Luxembourg, where the multiple is nearly 23? Worryingly for Luxembourg, there's a new idea afloat that European Union nations, even small ones, should take responsibility for saving banks operating within their borders, instead of falling back on the EU for help. Now, although Luxembourg has appeared as a new target in the sights of the EU kleptocrats, I'm still standing firm by my prediction that Ireland will be the next basket case to get raided by the EU Troika banksters. The EU's overall target of increasing the role of renewable energy to 20% of consumption in 2020, with each member country having its specific one, is one of three main headline goals that form the bloc's climate policy for this decade. I'm going to let you folks do a little research on this one, but the key words you want are renewable and sustainable. Pop those into the search box just below the menu on our website and you'll see that our EU masters speak with forked tongue. The European Union is quietly pouring millions of pounds into initiatives and groups seeking state-backed regulation of the press, including key allies of the controversial Hacked Off campaign. Angered by British media's coverage of Brussels, the European Commission says it wants to be a moral compass against press misconduct. Moral compass. Yes, Mr Goebbels, I I think that's a good way of putting it. I reported back along that the EU was putting together a tweet army and we ran an article on the policy framework it was proposing to actively push its propaganda through the social networks. This article looks at moves that are underway to gain control of the mainstream media. Today in our video library, even with Mr Draghi's printing euros to wallpaper over the cracks as the fiscal union crumbles, the imploding euro continues to collapse and Europeans are rapidly losing faith. Anti-euro sentiment is going mainstream in Germany, with the launch of a new party dedicated to pulling the plug on the struggling single currency. The group, called Alternative for Germany, says it has already received thousands of membership requests. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. 
I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>